NCAA college golf made its return today and it happened right here in the Panhandle over at Camp Creek Golf Club in Water Sound. The Florida State men's golf team holding the Seminole Invitational at the club. The tournament got underway today and will continue through tomorrow and Tuesday. Nine ACC teams taking part with the Knowles, including Clemson, Duke, North Carolina, Notre Dame and Louisville. This Invitational, the first look at what college golf will look like amid the pandemic. Teams are playing alongside their teammates instead of being paired up with a partner from another university like they normally would. This, of course, ensures players are not coming into contact with more people than necessary. At the end of round one, Clemson is in the lead at 12 under par. Wake Forest in second at six under. Duke in third at five under. And the Seminoles sit in fourth, three under. But there is still a lot of golf to be played. Cam Creek Golf Club happy to have some familiar faces in the Knowles hosting a tournament on their course this holiday weekend. We have an awesome relationship with FSU. Obviously, uh, Coach Trey Jones is a member with us. Coach Mike Martin is a member with us. Um, so we kind of kind of consider our, our courses their home away from home. And, you know, they've opened up that awesome new golf course, the uh, Seminole Legacy course over there. But, again, it's it's a short trip away, and, and the kids love coming over here. And, again, it's such an awesome area. So we're excited to have that relationship with FSU, and we're definitely cheering on the Knowles this week. John Pack, who you see there, the top ranked amateur golfer in the world among those taking the course this week. And you can see him, the Knowles and other ACC teams play tomorrow and Tuesday for free. All they ask is that you carpool because parking is limited over there at Camp Creek, but they encourage you to come out and watch. They'll have food available as well as you can see, of course, some of the great golf. We'll keep you updated on results right here on News 13.